to all my gamers and NFT players. Viral Hip Hop News and the Lightest Fair Network have teamed up to bring you something revolutionary in the gaming and NFT space. Go to play.finesse.fun right now to play the season preview of the game Finesse Shadow Warriors exclusively on play.finesse.fun. Dot fun. Don't be the last to be a part of this new technological advancement in gaming and NFT. Play dot finesse dot fun to play the season preview of the game finesse. Shadow Warriors link is in the description box. Let them know Viral Hip Hop News sent you. Let's go. So, Chris Rock, man. Let's get to Chris Rock. Oh, boy. Had his uh, comedy special come out live on Netflix. First we've ever seen Selective Outrage. We talked about a number of topics. Obviously, Will Smith was brought up and, uh, and Jada was brought up. Let's let's peel this back layer by layer. I don't yeah. know if you saw it, um, but if you didn't, let's talk about the title, Selective Outrage. Do you agree with that? Do you agree that we are in a society where people selectively have outrage towards certain things and kind of follow trends? Or what do you think about that title, Selective Outrage? Well, I guess in, I don't know if in the context was he saying it like that Will Smith has selective outrage. He damn sure says Will right. Smith has selective outrage. Right, and it's like... Okay, whatever. But he smacked Joe ass that day. Mm-hmm. Maybe for whatever reason. I don't know if they had a long standing feud or something, but I just think for me, I thought it was corny by Chris Rock. And I gotta be real with you. Like oh, wait a year later. I'm not I'm not I'm, it's fair, but I think it was just corny of him. Mm. And not that he caused this, he did it indirectly. Now other people started piling up on Will after this. Like the dude was apologetic more than a few times. But then you got your platform. To do what you want to do. Didn't he call like Jada a bitch like that? All that he went in crazy on the joint, didn't he? He called her a bitch, yeah. He went right. In. He so went it's in. just like, all right. So the smack was fucking deserved, then, nigga. That's mm-hmm. the way I look at it. But maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I four nine. It was what it was. I didn't. Here's my thing. I didn't mind the fact that I didn't mind that Chris got his stuff off the way he got his stuff off. I didn't like it all. But I don't like all the Chris Rock stuff. Some things I think are funny. So you saying this shit was whack? Things I th- no, I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm not saying it was whack, but it wasn't. Bigger, blacker, stronger, whatever that joint was when he oh, first okay. came out with the joint in 95. And Chris Rock has a tendency of saying some corny things. Like, one thing he talked about was Michael Jackson. And he talked about that early. Now, obviously, you know what I mean, we've had Michael Jackson's family on here. was supportive of Michael Jackson. But he was mm-hmm. accused of a lot of dirty and disgusting things that have never been proven to be true. All of it's been dismissed and not been proven true. In fact, it's been proven that a lot of the people in cases were a collusion against him and trying yeah. to... You know what I mean? Take him down. So when you see Chris Rock compare Michael Jackson and R. Kelly and saying people have selective outrage because you listen to Michael Jackson's music, but you demonize R. Kelly, what's the difference? You can see why people like Taj Jackson have an issue. I want to read what he said. Oh, and I want to get your thoughts on it. Friends of the show. Salute to Taj Jackson. Let me get this joint. He says, Chris Rock has used my family as punching bags for his entire career. Yet I'm supposed to feel bad for him getting slapped and humiliated on the Oscars after seeing a new clip of him attacking my dead uncle in his first minutes of his retaliation. I'm still relevant special. (laughs) I have three things to say. One, what did my family do to ever to you, excuse me, to ever warrant these decades of harassment and your constant bullying disguised as jokes? Two, just because you were bullied early in your life Mm. doesn't give you the excuse to bully others. Three, thank you, Will Smith. I got to say, I agree with him a hundred percent. And this is before I thought that he deserved to smack every before I even heard. That's my first time hearing what Todd said. I heard that he said something, but I hadn't like dug in exactly what he said. I agree with him. Then when you look at this, it's like, man, like I'm tired of these black dudes in power like that. Like he is because what he's saying is influential people listening to it. Right. Chris Rock. Yeah. Right being used or using themselves to attack especially people like somebody like michael jackson mm-hmm. like it was nothing never you know proven that he ever done that and i get it it's comedy it's a joke but that some some things you ain't supposed to do you ain't supposed to say some people i think it's off limits like you want to go r kelly that's a different story why are you going at mike for mm-hmm. why are you going at mike but then again as a part of me like okay i get it it's comedy but you done pissed off his family now yeah they in court battles trying to fight this and that and you calling him a pedophile still. Right. Like, come on, dog. I just think I hate that Sambo nigga. You know what? I hate it, man. I hate it so much. Comedy. You deserve that slap. And a lot of people feel that way. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, the only th- I, I wish that Will wouldn't have went on the apology tour as crazy right. as he did. 
because that would make me justify the slap even more. It, it's more <laughs> on Will's side than it is more on Chris Rock's side. Like I said, I ain't have a problem with Chris Rock going in on him. I ain't even have a problem with him calling uh, Jada a bitch, and here's why. If that's what you were going to do for everybody. You mm -hmm. didn't call other women in the show a bitch. You didn't call them transgender women a bitch when you said that you, in fact, like Woo! transgender women more than you like real men. Oh, and what do you say that at? Right in the middle of his comedy show, live Damn. on air. I ain't verbatim. Check it out. He said he prefers <laughs> transgender over there. He said, I guess because you can, they can understand defenses better in basketball. He tried to throw in a little corny joke, but he really praised them. He really praised certain agendas that he kind of went on a selective outrage about, but then in the same breath went in on Jada. Now, if you got jokes about Jada, cool, but why call her out her name? You know what I'm saying? Mm. And if you're not, if you're going to call her out her name, just be fair and call everybody out their name. Or if you're going to be calling niggas niggas 75 million times in there, and it got me kind of uncomfortable, I use the word. I try not to. I'm more mindful at our age not to use the word. But when you hear it so much, it's an ear sore. And it began it to get an ear sore in that show. He was just, he was, it was ripping off and off. And it's like, uh, damn, dog. Is there some underlying venom you have toward us that we You hit it on about? the head. It is. Like, yeah, man. You hit it on the head with that. It's crazy. It is. It's like, yo, you like, you ain't really rocking with black people like that. What? Like, it, I'm, I, I ain't trying to go that far with it, but am I? Or you got some really pent up stuff in you that I got to come across as comedy, but you really mean it. Maybe he really meant that about Michael. Maybe he really means that because they say in comedy some truth, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe he really like tran trannies better than regular women. Mm. Maybe it's some truth in all of this. But like, like Todd says, it's like, what did his family or his uncle do to you to make you continuously attack this day he's dead he came and defend himself right you still attacking him i don't know man I, you know i never really had nothing against chris rock like that honestly but this whole situation is just i gotta go with how i feel i thought he was corny for that response i think it was weak i think it was a low blow and it's late as hell yeah. how many things did you do i mean you've done shows and all that you were just waiting for this to do this right around now come on, man. again right like come on man he should have got smacked you shouldn't apologize. If I, I mean, it, it, you might, I'm sure you've been in a situation where you had to smack somebody or punch somebody. Mm -hmm. You may have felt sorry after that, but sometimes you hit a nigga and you ain't feel sorry for it. Yep. Like, you deserved it, dog. You did yeah. some nutty shit. I smacked the shit out you or I punched you. I and mean, to smack somebody is even worse than punching them. That's total disrespect. You know, I wonder where, because Chris Rock, I used to rock with him heavy. And I still rock with his brother, Tony Rock, friend of the show. You know what I'm saying? And you, he, he told stories about his mom having to go to the vet to get teeth pulled because back when she was, um, wherever they lived, I think in Carolina, right? no white dentist would take black children. So black children, if they weren't black dentists around, had to go to the vet. So this brother Damn. grew around struggle and culture, and I'm sure it was taught that. But where in the, during the fame and the lights and the glitz and the glamour, because he even talks about his daughter. It's something deeply rooted here. He talks about his daughters and how they're going to be beautiful black women, which they are. One's doing a, a chef out in Paris, took them to the finest schools with their four white friends and the mm. white this and the white that. And it's like, okay, is your level of success mean that you got to completely get your black children away from black culture completely? And that's the level of success. I'm not saying that that's what happened, but right. when you, if you watch it, just it's something deeper there when it comes to our culture, like in one breath, he'll, he'll up it, but in the same breath, he'll do little jabs and disrespect it. Like we talking amongst each other and there's nothing but white people in the audience. And I weird. get, and I get some, some people feel like, that the only people who's attacking them is black and shit like that. Or when they came up, you know what I mean? Like some people say, well, mm -hmm. black people did this and that yep. and this. And it's like, you looking at the the micro, not the macro of the situation. I get it. But like, you ain't mad at the people who did this shit for hundreds of years though. Right. You know, but you mad at somebody who did it. You know what I mean? Some dude who says something to you, you know, here or there, or I don't know, man. I, I just think that, like you said, you hit it on the head where you said there's some deep rooted stuff going on there. I think it's coming out right now. And maybe, you know, Will Smith, who knows the history that they had, where he was like, you know what, it's time to smack this dude mm -hmm. in front of everybody. I mean, he did it in, at the Oscars out of all places, man. man. It had to be something deep. Yeah. It had to be. It's over now. Shit should be done now. You know what I'm saying? They both got their shit off, and it is what it is. But salute to Todd Jackson, man, if you, you heard this. Oh, yeah. Salute to you, and you had every right to say what you said, and you absolutely have a point. That man is dead. And a lot of people are going to say, well, R. Kelly didn't even do it. And you may have your 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 beliefs and things like that. We ain't sitting here arguing one way or another. But one person was convicted. Another person wasn't. That being said, they can't be equal. That ain't. You know what I mean? One was convicted, one wasn't. So Yeah. 
truth or not, it is what it is. We shall see, man, how everything ends up. You know what I mean? With this whole situation. Like you said, I think it's dead, though, at this point, though, man. Word up. 